Okay, before we get into the video, I want to address one thing, and that is that I missed the Nintendo Direct that was given out last night. Unfortunately, I woke up in the morning, went on YouTube, and I found a bunch of videos and information talking about what happened on the stream. So yeah, I've spoiled myself and I don't have a good reaction for it. However, for the sake of me being me, I want to try and do my best impression of recreating such a scenario as when I, well, saw the information. So without further ado, allow me to give 10 seconds of your time to try and reenact what I did when I saw the information come out of such games and characters. What? No way! Pyra? Mithra? What? You're serious? First we have Final Fantasy characters, now we have Zelda Chronicle characters. What? No way! No freaking way! Splatoon 3! Splatoon 3! It, it's a reality. It's real. You guys are thinking it was never gonna happen a year and a freaking half later. Look at it now. Look at the memes now that say it's never gonna come out. Then again, that is actually two and a half years later because it's coming out in 2022. I don't care. It's coming out in 2022. And as a Splatoon fan, I'm willing to wait that long for a game that I am into. Now with my best reenaction of what my reaction was to such a well, announcement. I'm going to get into the details of both the Smash side and the Splatoon side of things. Actually, one more thing I'm going to say. I did not plan to do this video in general. This video was not planned whatsoever. I woke up this morning and I just was like, what the hell am I getting myself into today? Okay, now without further ado, let's get into the content that I want to talk about. First of all, we got Smash Brothers, Pyra and Mithra. Two characters from a series that I do not know much about, although I've been told it's a really good and very emotional series and they should check it out. But they're in Smash Bros now, so I know about them. Although I did see I did know I knew what Xenoblade Chronicles was because of Shulk, and that's just because of Smash Bros in general. Duh. But whatever the case, it does not matter because I know about them now. And here's some of you people thinking out there, well, just watching this video. Yes, I will be doing another video talking about me, well, not just me talking, but actually playing said characters online. They have a weird mechanic, kind of like they have a they switch between each other and they have like a lagless effect. So essentially it's like Pokemon Trainers Pokemon Switch, except without lag. So it's like Steve's Blocks mixed with Pokemon Trainers Switch, or Pokemon Switch, whatever it's called. Now with that Smash Bros stuff out of the way, the stuff that I want to talk about. Splatoon 3. Like, what the hell, man? We did not see this coming. I mean, some people were thinking that, well, there might be some Splatoon stuff coming out in the Direct. Some people were like, nah, Splatoon, the Splatoon franchise can't pass on. Now you have other games that are coming out. No way in hell, this franchise is not going away for any goddamn reason. And I'll say one thing for sure is like, I missed out on like, okay, I'm gonna be honest. When I first found out about Splatoon, I knew about Splatoon 1 way back when it was first given out. So it was like half a year, maybe a year into the making. I can very vaguely remember me just seeing a game about squids and kids and then I'm just like, eh, it seems alright, but I might pass on it. I'll have a look at it later and I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, just completely forgot about it. Then when Splatoon 2 came out, I was like, oh, same game. I then got like, it's like a shock in my head, like a little, like something clicked in my head and I was just like, I remember seeing something like this before. But here's the thing though, when it comes to the Splatoon 2 game, I did not buy it until I got a Switch and that was the Christmas like, oh god, that was like 20, yeah it was 2018. And so yeah, I got Splatoon 2 and Smash Bros and such on my Switch on December 2018 and then a year later, the game basically ended with the Final Fest. And funny enough, people were like having a hypothesis of saying that Splatoon 3 was going to be based around whoever won the Splatfest, whether it was Team Chaos or Team Order. In the case of Team Chaos 1, it would be like a wasteland, everything would be going to Chaos. In the case of the Order 1, I expected the world to be like more futuristic and very, very docile. You start in this desert wasteland in the first in the trailer from what I saw. Well, you had containers, you had shrubs, you had literal subway trains buried into the ground. And I'm like, strange. Then I saw what I saw, an inkling, and guess who was with them? Lo and behold it, the character that was on Team Chaos, a Salmonid. And funny enough, that's going to be the kind of case that will be for Splatoon 3. And also, the respawn feature as well, it's kind of shocking. You literally have these things that just zoom you into the battlefield. It's not like anything you've seen before in Splatoon. Because before in Splatoon, it's like respawn anchors. You come up from the spawn and you're like, oh, I'm back in the game, let's go splat my enemy and get some revenge. Nope! You get launched in from cannons, like box cannons, and they look pretty cool. And on top of that, we've not even talked about the weapons, like you've got an ink bow, or classic weapons that are coming back, you've got the ink zooka special, that's something I want to try out. Nonetheless, that's pretty much all I wanted to get through in today's video. I'm really excited for it, and not what I have planned for my first video coming back, but still very, very exciting. At least for me. I'm not sure about other people that are not really into the Splatoon franchise, but I am really hyped. 
I'm yell. I'm like, you have people that are just sitting here like, ah, it's Platoon 3, it's not much. They have those Platoon fans that are just like, POKERS MAN! WE GOT A NEW GAME COMING OUT! Then you have the Smash Bros characters that are like, oh, got Pyra and Mithra, nice! And then you have the Zelda Chronicles fans that also love Smash, and they're like, WHAT?! I'm not going to tell you Bramble and on because I'm going to get, like, clicking my head but I'm just going to keep going on and on and on about certain situations and conversations. Just get out of here, go, subscribe, ring, ring the bell, like the video, comment if you want, just go, bye!